Tooch, I forgot to tell you something super important. It's about Big Boss. Tooch? Oh, right. He said he threw away his communicator. Whoops. Let's fucking beat this game. Yeah. This is okay. gonna be oh, shit, I'm on fire. Okay, Snake, you gotta call. You gotta call Snake. Oh, everything's on fire. Why is everything on fire, Devin? Snake, your items are on fire. I know, I'm on fire. Throw away all your weapons and equipment. Quickly, use the zero button. Or use the circle button. Oh god, I have to do- oh god, oh- oh god, fucking- oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. You can throw away everything. Oh god, oh, but- but everything's not on fire. Still, I have to throw everything away. Devin. De you have to throw everything away. You have to throw away your guns, too. Your guns are on fire. I can't throw away my rations. I can't- I can't unsel- what am I doing? I can't- I throw that away. Oh? Still working? No! What's going That's on? That's weird. Something happened with the game. Hold on, fucking. Um, I can't unselect. I can't do anything. Oh, you can't equip it. Um, what is happening? I can't get rid of it, dude. Can I say, what? Oh, oh that, that worked. That worked immediately. Oh, the wait. X button worked. Oh, you said circle. Well, I'm gonna eat one of these because it's not on fire. And then, uh, do I have to get rid of it? Yeah, I have to get rid of it. Okay. That was awkward. Oh. Where am I? The perfect ring for our final battle. I had to punch him? Yeah, you had to punch him. Oh shit. I'm sorry. A chicken fight. Essentially, the two greatest rivals in Foxhound have been waiting for this moment a long time. There's, there's landmines all around. Fox, I'll beat some sense back into you. Snake, it's time for you to learn why they call me Fox! Because you're a furry! Ugh. Get a call, get a call, get a call. <sighs> Gray Fox, real name, Frank Yeager, former member of Fra former member of Foxhound. He was the last man to hold the title Fox in the Big Boss era, decorated five times. Yeah, I know all about how good he is. Better than anyone else. I fought with him. He's a cold-blooded hunter. He never lets his prey escape. Everybody in the unit respected him, looked up to him. That may be Snake. Do you know about his past? It might help you out. Ten years ago, he was in the mercenary trade, knew him as a hunter. He has hunter. That's what Jaeger means in German. Back then, he was involved with some woman from the Eastern Bloc. <gasps> he tried to get her to come over to the fence, but it all fell through. Oh no. Apparently, the West wasn't interested in taking her. Oh That's no! when Frank started to hate polit the politicos. Politicos. What was the woman's name? She was an Olympic skater. Name? Gustava Hefner. Real fine woman. Movie star type. G Gustava... Hefner! Just having this call while you're punching him in the face. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Snake, if you manage to beat Fox, I'll tell everyone that Solid Snake is the greatest mercenary in the world. Over and out. Okay, cool. That sounds rad, but I have to fight this guy now and not die. I'm pretty much gonna stay in this one spot, because you said there was landmines. This is a lot... This is pretty anticlimactic in this terms isn't of. Boss. <laughs> I know it's not, but like, even in terms of like bosses after Metal Gear, like, are you for real, bro? I've almost. He's literally running around with his dukes up, and I'm just sort of punching him as he runs by. Like, oh my god, Devin. <laughs> I thought he was the greatest mercenary ever. <laughs> Devin! Well, do you want him to be super hard? You yeah, kind <laughs> of, dude! <laughs> Snake, looks like it's finally time for me to give up the title of Fox. Fox, why? I'm not like you, Snake. My situation is more complicated. Big Boss might have been just another CO to you, but he saved my life. <coughs> Twice. This was before I joined the unit. The first time I was half-white, living in Vietnam. It was after the war. The half-whites were, were being sent to forced labor camps. He saved me for, the, for that living hell. Just like you saved all the children here. The second time I was in Mozambique, I was being tortured as a Renamo soldier, and they saved me again. They cut off my ears and my nose. And this is and, your idea. And this is your idea of paying him back? No, you've got it wrong. I hate war, just like all the kids here, but I need it. War is all we know. We can't make it in the normal world. We need the battlefield to survive. Big Boss gives us a place to fight. 
Conflict is in our blood. We can't deny it. I was born on the battlefield, and I'll die on the battlefield. All I can do is fight, Snake. All I can do is fight. Making people happy, making a woman happy is something I could never do. You mean... Guess I was always fated to die in action. Rest easy, Fox. I swear I won't turn out like you. Won't turn out like me? I'll have to remember that. Fight hard, Snake. Don't let your fans so lose down. lose your way! Don't let your fans down. Oh no, don't let your fans... My fans? That was him. It was you, wasn't it? You were the voice on the radio. Call it payback for being so selfish. See you on the other side, side Snake. Yo! You won't be alone, Frank. Gustava's waiting for you. Gustava. Thank you, Snake. Wow, I punched a man to death and he blew up. That was pretty metal. <laughs> what? Over here, Snake. Over here, Snake. Oh no. Okay, um, this is gonna get, take you and make you a few tries. Okay. Big boss, you're alive? Snake, welcome to Zanzibar land. I knew you'd come back to me. I came to get rid of the nightmares I've been having for the past three years. Even though it's four years. The nightmares, they never go away, Snake. Once you've been on the battlefield, tasting the exhilaration and the tension, it all becomes part of you. Once you've awakened the warrior within, it never sleeps again. Once you've awakened the warrior! <laughs> Back from beyond the grave! <laughs> As a mercenary, I'd think you would realize that by now. Hopefully that won't be in poor taste by the time it's theirs. <laughs> the man just died. Yeah, <laughs> and we wanted him to be a big boss. Yeah. You care nothing for power, for money, or even sex. Well, the now let's not that satisfies your cravings okay. is war! All right, that's making a lot of broad generalizations about me, but, I mean, whatever. This situation's too serious. I'm just gonna let you keep talking. All I've done is give you a place for it. Give you a place for it. I've given you a reason to live. I know how to get a boner, okay, big boss? <laughs> I never would have made you for such a hypocrite, big boss. You saw those children, didn't you? Everyone is a victim of war somewhere in the world, and they'll make fine soldiers in the next war. Start a war, fan its flames, create victims, then save them, train them, and feed them back onto the battlefield. I knew it! It's a perfectly logical system. Dad is not! In this world of ours, conflict never ends, and neither does our purpose. Our raison d'etre. Our, our ra oh, I, raison I was about to say, this isn't the N NES port. Like, fucking, this isn't, this isn't our raison. So there's plenty of job opportunities. Is that what you're trying to say? On the battlefield, you and I are valuable commodities. But we, but back home, we're nothing but dead weight. If we're lucky, we might get the attention of some two-bit journalist from a cheap tabloid. You and I are doomed to remain here until we die like dogs on the battlefield. I've only got one fight left. To free myself from your grip. To rid myself of those nightmares. Big Boss, I will defeat you! Doesn't matter who wins here. Our fight will continue. The loser will be liberated on the battlefield. From the battlefield, the winner will remain. And the survivor will live out the rest of his days as a soldier. Doesn't have to be that way. I'm not like you. I love life. Very well, Snake. I'll release you from your suffering as your former commander. I'll do you one last favor and push you out of your misery. I don't need any more favors from you. Really? And just how do you expect to beat me in your condition with no weapon? Never give up. Fight until the end. Always believe you will succeed even when the odds are against you. Those are your words. Even I make mistakes from time to time. Snake, this will be our final battle. Let's end this once and for all. Pause. Oh. Okay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your, what you... Anticlimactic. Okay, this battle, to explain what this battle is, uh -huh. there's acid everywhere. Don't step in it. Don't. There's rations okay. everywhere Get that them. you can pick up. Okay. And they're all B1, so they can so chocolify the sun. Oh. So they can chocolify it. Oh, interesting. And, but the way... So what you need to do is you need to open doors, and you get key cards. Oh. Open those doors with the key cards that you find in the doors, and then you'll get a lighter... And hairspray to make a makeshift flamethrower to fight Big Boss <laughs> while he's shooting at you. So let's do this. Let's beat the game. Uh, yeah. Let's let's fucking do it. You know what? This is this is this is the finale. So we're just gonna keep going. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those do two doors that you can open first. Okay. Not that one. That's that one. Let's do this. 
Guard one. Okay. <laughs> Go away. You can equip, equip card one. Oh. Yeah, if I can. <laughs> uh, ow. Go cut it out, old man. That doesn't work. Yeah, not that one. But there, there's doors all over the place. Yeah. You can step in the P, though. I don't know why you can step in the P. <laughs> in the ass. Freaking. Eh. Yay, I did it. I did a thing. I got another card. Or okay. Two. Oh, boy. Oh, Bogu! Give me the ration. Give me the ration. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, and it's like, well, trust me, each card only opens in the next door. So, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, card, card six. Uh, eh. Not that one. That's the way you back your DM. <laughs> oh. Okay. No, leave me alone. Go away. Go away, you mean man. You mean scary man with your gun. And your beret and your eye patch. Yeah, freaking. Do you, you see the eye patch on a sprite? Yeah. Uh, also, you might you have to chocolify that one, so you want to just do that real quick. Okay. I like, ch like chocolify. <laughs> Majin that's, that's what you're doing. <laughs> you're chocolifying it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's probably this one then. Better be this one. No. Card two. Card two. I. Oh, you already opened with one card two? Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, that's how I got card six, uh, Devin. Okay. Farts. Uh, what do I do? I'm out of doors. Devin, I'm out of doors. Okay, you know what you gotta do? What do I gotta do? Go back into that room where you got card six. Uh. Uh. Go to the next one. That one. The one next door is the one you want to open, and open it with card two. Okay. Or six. Just try that one, because that one's the one you should go into next. Try card two. So remember, it confused okay. me. Part two of that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And then right. you gotta crawl under there and get the next key. That's oh. The thing. Uh. Oh. Yeah. So they have card three. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Also, there's some acid in the room, so be careful when you walk into the rooms. Otherwise, you'll run face first in acid. Uh, whoops. Oh, there's acid in this room, so just be careful. Like, oh, okay, it's in the next one then. Card oh, four. four. So you gotta get the lighter and the hairspray. Okay, this is uh, this is a pretty involved boss battle. Let me tell you. Lighter. And then uh, get the other card key, and then get the spray. Oh, geez, he's right there. No. Oh no. Yes. Boosh. And where's that hairspray? Hairspray's in the door that you chalkified. And you haven't used five yet. Yeah. Dun, Total dun. chocolification. Absolute chocolification. Pulse pounding chocolate. All right. Okay, so you need to equip one in your in your item hand, and one in your weapon hand. Right, because one's an item and one's a weapon. I literally can, I literally can't do anything but now what fire. you told me to do. Oh, dude, that is nice. Where are you? Uh, don't don't run don't run and man me. Don't run man me. Come here, you son of a bitch. Eat fire! Yeah, boy, you better run. He's on. This took me like six billion tries. I've been running an acid like a dumbass. We got him on the run, folks. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Ooh, we got him. Ooh, we got him. Come on, come on, boy. Roast this pig. We gonna have a barbecue tonight. Yes. Snake! Oh, oh, um, get away from me. Get away from me! Get away from no, me! Hurt you. Okay. It's not over yet! Uh, it looks pretty over to me, old man, but... It's not over yet! Wow, rude. Uh, I can't move. It's not over yet. Well, snake. Cool guys, don't look at explosions, cause the cutscene wouldn't let me turn around. So I gotta go up the door that was at the top. So, uh, yeah, we Dude, fucking, we did it. Like five minutes, you literally have, like, an escape scene, and that's it. Oh, cool. So we Essentially, it's an interactive cutscene. Oh, neat. Oh. What? Freeze! It's okay, it's me, Snake! Oh. <laughs> Calm down, dude. <laughs> Holly, you scared the shit out of me. 
Did I scare you? Whew. That was a close one. So, what's going on? What are you doing here? You do anything later? I, I just killed Big Boss. It's pretty impressive, right? Just I killed him again. Out, check out these guns. <laughs> I, look at this. I fucking set him on the fuck on fire and I punched out Gray Fox. <laughs> you said it yourself. Stay alive and we'll meet again sometime. So I did. I was kind of bullshitting. But... Ah, that uniform was too tight in the chest. I feel much better now. Here, I stole this gun from the enemy. You can have it's it. It's infinite ammo. Yeah, I can see how it'd be hard for a woman to use. Thanks. So it's all over now, right, Snake? No. I still have one more job to do. I have to kill every child in this base. <laughs> They're all gonna be soldiers someday. Let's just nip it in the bud. <laughs> you can't be serious. I'm dead serious, Holly. Snake, no, you can't. <laughs> you want me to call you a cab? Oh my god, that wasn't funny, Snake. This is Snake. Come in, Charlie. This is Charlie. Go ahead, Snake. I've got the cartridge. I'm ready to return to base. Making my way to rendezvous point now. Roger that. I'll meet you there. Any passengers? Just one. Blonde with a cute face. Sounds like a dream. Over and out. Holly, we gotta run as fast as we can to the rendezvous point. Think you can keep up? Is that a proposition, Snake? I'll take that as a yes. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> I just don't trust anything right now. <laughs> Punch it. Eat some. Yeah. Up. Devin, you didn't answer me. Yeah. Okay. You couldn't go down. Okay, good. If you push down, nothing would have happened. So. Okay, good. Because that would have been the biggest piss take. I feel like you press down, you die. Yes. I don't need it, but food. It's for the, for the ride back. Yeah, exactly. You need something to snack on. Duh. Oh my god. Those are the bane of my existence to the very bitter end of this game. <laughs> like, jeez. <laughs> uh, Come on. What the hell is taking you so long? We're gonna be here till Christmas! This is Charlie. I'm 10 kilometers from the rendezvous point. Hold tight a little bit longer. Over and out. Hurry! Also, this game takes place on Christmas Eve. Oh, cool. Like, yeah. like friggin', uh, like Die Hard 2. Yeah. And, and Die Hard 1. One. Yeah. So technically, it's almost Christmas. How can the same thing happen in the same guy on the same night twice? Because Bruce Willis. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but the Expendables dude, like, uh, Mel Gibson's in it now. Yeah, I wanna- like I they had Chuck Norris in the second one. Ugh, Chuck Norris is a sham. Yeah, he is. Like, people don't understand that Chuck Norris jokes are supposed to be ironic. He, the, the joke is that he's not a fucking badass martial artist. He's some cheap TV show, like, got his ass kicked by Bruce Lee in a movie thing. Oh, no. Devin, you didn't tell me that was there. I didn't know that was there. Nothing happened! Oh my god, dude. Next, we're gonna cut. Just cut it now. Ugh. I can't turn around while I'm firing this gun. It's too powerful. Like, it's got a friggin' fire, and then, like, it's... It's like the fucking Wing Zero system. It pilots me. <laughs> this guy's chill there. Okay. Fuck. That was dumb. So dumb. I'm getting antsy. Uh, damn it, I'm out of ammo. Oh, I was supposed to keep firing. Oh. That's so dumb. Snake! Me, 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 me! Me, me! Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, oh I no. I fall down the hole. Dude, Charlie, good shot. It's the chopper, we're saved! Charlie, you're late! Sorry, man, I didn't want to disturb you two lovebirds. Fucking Charlie. Oh, that's Charlie. That he old. He, he becomes a reoccurring character in the series. No, he totally doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Think we'll be home in time for Christmas? That we've only just established it is? Let's go, then. I'm looking forward to Christmas dinner. I'm sick of these rations. <laughs> it's funny, because they were eating at the entire fucking game. Now, there's an ending cutscene, and there's, uh, it's credits, and there's something after the credits. Okay.
it's just, this is a cutscene. Don't worry. I was like, why is there a white square? And then, dude, this was on a fucking 8-bit computer. Nice. That's a really crazy looking fucking helicopter. <laughs> Metal Gear Copter? It, I was about to say it looks like Metal Gear Rex. Well, you fought Metal Gear D. Oh, well, it looks like Metal Gear D. Rex oh. is from Solid. I got the D. Chopper! Get to the chopper! We so, did it! So there's something after the credits, like last time that we accidentally skipped, because there's always something after the credits in every Metal Gear game. Oh yeah! Yeah, last time we skipped it and like it did something... This is Big Boss saying, I'm not dead, I'm back for more. Oh yeah, and then also it gave us our rank and like it called me a deer. So let's see what you got in this one. Probably a deer still. So that's your code name. Your code name was deer. You're a foxhound unit deer. Oh. But, but it did call me that. That's what it was, right? You said Because you said they always give me animals, and you said my animal was deer. Yeah. So, no, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. animal, Devin. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's your Foxhound code name, deer. Yes, we're yeah. not disagreeing. I know, I was just you did, I didn't say anything that was contrary okay. to you. Fucking... Shout out Kazuhiko Uehara. Masahiro Ikari... Ikariko, you did a real job. Yes, all these people did. So, yeah, what do you think of this game? It was... the entire series so far. It was, uh... Pretty solid. <laughs> Uh, but no, I liked it. <laughs> like, from a game that came out in 1992, this was like Dawn of the SNES, dude. Pretty much. Uh, I liked it. It was like, it was a good sequel, it was a good sequel to the first game, it was a good improvement on the first game, it's a good standalone game. It's a good game. It's a really solid game. And, uh, yeah. It said, this has like a ton of tropes and sets the standard for like, much to come later in the series. Yeah. Hideo Kojima, presented by Agonami. So, to explain the, the thing that's coming up, yeah. whenever you boot up of uh, an MSX, it says VRAM 10, uh, 10K. Okay. And you'll see in a second. Just, just keep that in mind. Porting staff. This is all stuff that people that were made the HD version. Oh, cool. Oh, they, they made the credits look like the game? Yeah. <laughs> Neat. Well, these people did the translation and all that. Like, yeah. Masaki, Masaki Takeda. Design. Sesu Kagawa. Matoiryoko. Kiryu and Zatsuki. Matoiryoko. Kiryu and Zatsuki. Matoiryoko. Okay, the credits are over. Let's see what the heck is gonna go on. My computer almost fell off the goddamn couch. That would have been bad. Good work, Snake. The nightmares have stopped. I'm a free man now. I see. That's too bad. By the way, about that cartridge. Is it really the one Doctor Marv hidden his the plans in it? Why wouldn't we? Why don't we open it and find out? No, no need for that. The cartridge I brought back is Doctor Marv's. No question about it. Just put it on the. Just put it in the MSX. All right. Here goes. Huh? Nothing's happening. What on earth? Of course, Snake was right. There's no doubt about it. This is Doctor Marv's cartridge. What are you talking about? I don't see anything. Here, look closer. Doctor Marv left his signature on it. Right here, it says Kyo Marv. I see it now. It's written backwards. He makes the, uh, this is going to do the world a lot of good. Dr. Marv's last performance. He really loved games, didn't he? From the bottom of his heart. Dr. Marv was entangled in a pointless political game. And it cost him his life. But the game is left, he left behind will save us all, right, Snake? Snake? Where'd he go? Colonel Snake's gone! Snake? Where's he off to now? Snake? Snake! He promised to take me out to dinner. How low can you get? And here we go. This is the true credits. This is the cool looking credits. Roy Campbell. So he did he literally just back out of a date? Essentially. He just kind of stood her up. Big Boss was right. Holly White. <laughs> they call her Hori White in the open in the uh, tr in the uh, manual for Solid. Even though she's not in it, they like recap the previous game. Ah. George Castler. He hasn't come back. Aw. Drago Petrokov Madnar. Madnar is mentioned a, 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 in 4, but he's never seen again. Oh. Oh, because I guess, like, in, he, could, he could show up in the prequels. He could. Like, he has, like, 
I, he hasn't shown up in fucking um in four or, in, in or five. three. In, yeah, in Master five, Miller. Either. Miller is in. You see him young in Peace Walker. Cool. And his relationship with Big Boss. Neat. And he's also in Solid. Hmm. Kia Marf. I speak. I speak. Like the fucking guy from Arrested Development or whatever. Oh, uh, Tobias. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Frank Yeager. Yeager. That's the joke. Yeah. I want to get. References... I want to get a silver husky and name it. I want name it Frank Yeager. You don't need jokes with punchlines, kids. Just spout well-known references and things. Gustav that's Hefner. that's comedy. Big boss. What? What's his name? You, want, you actually want to know John, his real name? Well, I guess it's yeah. John, I'm sorry. you fuckhead. <laughs> his name's John. But that, he doesn't really have a name. His name's literally John Doe. He doesn't have a name. Oh, does he not know his name? Well, he does know his name, but his name's literally John Doe. Oh, okay. Metal Gear D. He has a D. The D. And? And? And then... <gasps> Solid Snake! Who actually got development in this game. Yay! His development was he he likes life and he can't get a boner. Zebra. Oh, cool. What's zebra? You killed 515 people. Good. Beat the game in five hours. Uh huh. You saved twice. Uh huh. Continued 26 times. Uh huh. Got spotted 181 times. Used yeah. 18 rations and uh -huh. you didn't use a special item. Cool. What's a special item? That's for new game plus. Just gives you infinite ammo. Oh. Cool. So uh. yeah, I think there's there anything else after this like. Uh. uh. Mm, no. Oh, save. Yeah. We did it! And now we can unlock New Game Plus! I don't want to do that. Or Boss Rush. You can fight Running Man again. Uh, I'm going to not, because that wasn't a fight. <laughs> that was that, a piss take. That was, a, that was an elongated murder. <laughs> that was uh, a so justified elongated murder. That's what we take out of this entire playthrough, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I've played this entire game, and my verdict is Running Man is the stupidest boss, boss in video game history. Good night! <laughs>